Yo, Armando Bick out here. It's Luke May. This is Tyler Hintz, bro. University of North Carolina. This is North Carolina. I just want to shout out my boy, Bear underscore YT. Bear underscore YT. It's Carolina family, baby. Go Heels. Go Heels. What's up, boys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing another UNC recruit review, and this marks the beginning of the 2022 transfer you is here crew reviews we got five transfers that came in, that are coming into carolina to play football this year and we're going to start it here jacoby cowan defensive lineman former of the ohio state university six four six four and a half 275 pounds he's more of a big bulky defensive end here will probably uh Maybe he's got hard to tell. Probably like a three tech type of role, if I had to guess. Maybe occasional five tech. But he's coming in with as a red shirt sophomore. He's got three years of eligibility remaining um, for his college career. Former four star recruit, big time player coming out of Providence Day High School in Charlotte, North Carolina. So he's in, he was in Carolina's neck of the woods, and they definitely recruited him coming out of high school. As you go over here to Rivals, I mean, just look at this kid's offer sheet coming out. Didn't get much playing time at Ohio State, but look at this, man. Ohio State, Alabama, Arkansas, Clemson, Florida, Florida State, Georgia. I mean, Louisville, LSU, Maryland, Michigan, Ole Miss, and of course, Carolina as well. Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Oregon, Penn State, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas A&M. I mean, he basically could have went wherever he wanted. Jacoby Cowan, Cowan is that kind of talent. Really, really talented player. So let's get over here and watch some highlights. These are his sophomore year highlights in high school. Obviously, I don't want to get copy uh, copyright striked on this video. Also, there's not much to see from his time at Ohio State anyways. So let's get right into it. Jacoby Cowan. And this is, like, before we start... This, well, I guess we'll play it out and talk. But this is a guy coming into Carolina not many people are talking about, I feel like. It's a deep defensive line room, so who, who knows how much he's going to play year one, but I'm looking forward to what Kobe Cowan can do in the future as a Tar Heel. And he makes a good play off the edge there. I mean, it's clear he's got some bulk to him for an edge-type player, like that power rusher type of guy. But he looks like he's got some speed as well. And by the way, Providence Day is kind of a, a powerhouse school in the state of North Carolina for college, excuse me, high school football. There he is on the edge again. So he's going up against good competition in 4A, which is the highest level of football you can play in the state. I believe they're 4A still. Sheds a couple blocks, brings down the running back standing up. His tackling so far, what I've seen, and just as a sophomore, he's not even having to lay out for these guys. He's just throwing them. I haven't seen a, a single time where he like laid out for a tackle yet. Every time, he's just man manhandling them. Obviously, that's not going to work at the college level in most cases. But there's a screenplay. There he is, making a diving tackle. Oh, gosh. What, a, what was that snap? Okay. Gets the fumble recovery. Let's see that long speed. Let's see that long speed. Oh, Oh man, if he would have landed that stiff arm, he stiff arm he might would have made it there. There he is again. On block, straight to the running back. No chance there for the opposition. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness. Looks like he knocked the ball free there. Shedding the tight end, it looks like, and 
man, he's really, I'll give him one thing so far. He's really good at jersey tackling. Really good at that. He's just so strong. And this is as a sophomore. The pressure gets to the quarterback there. He just falls over. My gosh, he's just trucking these kids. I mean, that running back is really scrawny, but I mean, he's just he's just pile driving them like it's no problem. And this is the top 150 player in the country, a uh, uh, very highly regarded four-star recruit coming out of high school. So Jacoby Cowan got a lot of potential as he comes in here to Chapel Hill. I need to start thinking of a comparison here because the way he moves, in my opinion, seems more that of a maybe a 3-4 defensive end. If it's playing at a 4-3, a defensive tackle type. Uh, definitely a bigger defensive lineman than you'd expect for the edge position. So kind of with that in mind, I kind of want to say a guy like Miles Murphy because he's he is versatile along the line of scrimmage, but you can tell that for the most part, he's probably gonna be belonging on the interior of the line. And he's already extremely powerful. If he puts on a little bit of weight, I mean, that could be disgusting. Here he's standing up at the, at the edge a little bit there. Man, look at the jersey tackling, man. He just grabs them. And like I said, that's not always going to work at the next level. So that's something that Gene Chizik and I'm sure Ohio State was working on, teaching him how to actually like make tackles. But the pure strength and raw ability is 100% there for Jacoby Cowan. Oh my gosh, and coverage? Hold on. Hold on, Jacoby Cowan in coverage, that was something else. It wasn't much, much of a route by the receiver, but I mean, he was there. And look at that right there in coverage. Forcing the incompletion, I guess, you could say. Plows through three, two offensive linemen in the running back and gets the pressure on the QB there. There he is. Yeah, I guess that is technically a sack. Look how big he is on the edge, man. That's crazy. Makes the tackle miss and wraps down the receiver, uh, the running back. Sheds a block grabs the elusive quarterback and grabs him by the jersey and doesn't let him go any further. Breaks the edge. Pushes back the tackle. Stays with the back, makes a tackle. All right, so that is Jacoby Cowan, defensive lineman, formerly of Ohio State, now for the Tar Heels. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Jacoby. Please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do, do all that YouTube stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.